I want to share. Uh, I want to do a project share on some. Oh, on the video that I watched, she called it twelve by twelve uh, stationary um, folder for stationary. I think uh, the video I watched was from May May Made It Crafts. That's her YouTube channel. I will of course link down below the video. Uh, when I tried to find it again, um, I saw that Tracy Fox Loves Junk Journals also have made something similar to this one. She has probably decorated it in a whole nother style. But I like uh, May May's video because it's very simple and it's just the technique she is uh, talking about. So, and these four was very easy to make and they were um, fun to decorate. Uh, finally, I, I used some of my paper um, doilies, so uh, I enjoy that very much. I have some um, paper uh, here, uh, 12 by 12. I only buy one 12 by 12 paper pad at a time. Uh, when I use up uh, all the papers and I only have uh, scraps left, small scraps, I buy a new pad and and that's how I, how it works for me. Um, so um, I don't use a lot of pa beautiful papers and stuff. Uh, I hopefully will. Uh, but this way I can storage my embellishments, paper embellishments uh, inside here. Um, you actually just take and you bend the 12 by 12 and just to decorate it because it's only one sided um, decorated uh, it's not a double sided um, paper yeah I think uh, then I took another sheet and I cut it in half so because I have two of each of these of these I can like um, make two uh, completely the same and I can use the left half of this lining uh, paper uh, I can use it in um, in plastic bags where I'm gonna storage my embellishments so yeah so it match um, maybe these are going out for gift at some point but right now uh, it's just for my own uh, personal use um, what I did was I have some offcuts of uh, lace from I took out Nola's uh, my Nola box <laughs> my uh, Nola um, she is uh, Nanny Sadik by Nola on Facebook um, and I got a huge uh, delivery um, before Christmas I think uh, was it. In the start of December or in November, I'm not. Uh, I don't remember, but I have a lot, so I'm trying to work out, uh, work with some of her stuff, uh, because I'm no. I know now there's a box more coming, um, so yeah. So the paper doilies is for my own and. Uh, the bling is also my own and this flower is my own. Everything else is from Nola. Um, I just closed it uh, with um, this uh, trim. Uh, no, not trim. Um, silver thread yarn whatever uh, and I just uh, sewn uh, in the center I know she doesn't do that on the um, uh, on the video she does something else with a ribbon that is folded and everything uh, and I like that idea that she makes but uh, this way I don't have these um, where you put them through the hole and that is like uh, pins on the other side I have no idea what they're called. Um, you will watch the video and you know what I'm talking about. Um, but here I have room for uh, putting more inside. Yeah. Um, so, so this one is uh, a black and white and pink. 
this one it's the same concept inside that here I because I glued uh, the two papers together uh, here I only took half of a um, 12 by 12 and decorated the top here here I actually glued it uh, together together yeah so I needed to cut this piece out here so it can close better uh, as you can see, I did. Uh, she only do one score line. Uh, I do three because then it's it's more bendable and I can storage more inside the pockets. I guess. And here I put a silver doily, some um, ribbons, and this bling is something I've had in my stash for a long, long time. I don't know where it comes from. This one is from Nola. And then here, <coughs> this one is a trim from a um, um, oh, a skirt, a skirt, yeah. So I just did the holes again in the end here. I sewn in the center. Um, here again, I only have half of a 12 by 12 on top, and this paper is just uh, it's actually decorated on on the wrong side, uh, but to make it fold, it, yeah, okay, enough of that. But inside, I have like this piece, and there was a border. Uh, I think it was a nice uh, ending here. I have these uh, stain um, quilts uh, on the paper line. Uh, this golden uh, Chinese braid is also from Nola. And then this one, this is the same. Here I also cut it. I'm not going to glue it down because now it can uh, be possible to put more inside also. Yeah. So I just wanted to share with you some of these uh, file folders, uh, if they're called that. But please watch the video that she made. It's a great tutorial and easy to uh, work with. This is just my way of decorating it and uh, doing I think they're very, very beautiful. So I was so surprised I needed to share it. <laughs> so. Um, um, to say something else, uh, yeah, I'm still crafting uh, and I'm still watching and um, I will share a little bit more uh, videos with you, but uh, I'm working on some bigger videos uh, because I want to show my craft, uh, how I storage my crafting. Um, because I've told you many times I don't have much space. I really don't have much space. Uh, so I need to be creative about it. And some of the things, how I storage it is not working. And um, I'm de-stashing and I'm trying to think in other ways and stuff. But I really want to show you how my um, my craft supplies are uh, storage uh, and how I, I am displaying your beautiful gifts so yeah um, and in the meantime I am crafting <laughs> like everyone else and I'm not doing the hair pieces so much as I should uh, because I'm still waiting for the hairdresser to have the other um, photo shoot and um, the model was sick so uh, I don't want to start working on something before I know if uh, I need to make some uh, adjustments because if I'm doing a whole lot of, of uh, mistakes uh, it's like double work and, and that it's not fun. So, um, so I'm actually just uh, working on stuff that I think could be fun to, to work with and uh, trying to uh, do some storage uh, things. Yeah. So, 
thank you so much for watching and I hope you will think this is uh, beautiful uh, it was very easy uh, and um, watch her tutorial uh, I will link both of uh, both um, Tracy and uh, May May's um, um, tutorials yeah so thank you for watching and have a great day